Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we went ahead and made our way through Route 5, and we defeated Gladion and his type, Null. Today, we're going to continue on through Brooklyn Hill, and it looks like someone is here. Hello, I'm Lena. I serve as the captain of Brooklyn Hill. You look like an able-bodied trainer. Could I ask for your help with something? Sure. Then follow me this way, please. You guys know that we've gone ahead and met a captain. It means that we are probably gonna have a trial coming up very soon. Trials have been my favorite part of this game so far, so I can't wait to see what awaits us. I also wanna give you guys a very big thank you for all your tips and your comments. Make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a big like. Of course, it would be a Psyduck that pops out. Every time I see a Psyduck, I gotta tell you guys, it reminds me of the original anime and Misty Psyduck. When I was a kid, Watching Pokemon for the first time, learning the Pokedex, the first 151. I remember, I thought that Psyduck might have some mystical power deep within him that turned him into a super strong Pokemon. Little did I know that it was just his frustration building up inside that allowed him to use Psychic and all those sorts of moves. But, you know, we figured that out later down the road. It just always seemed so great that that little duck came in and saved the day. I was hoping that he would have some sort of special talent to him. Let's see what's going on here. See? Do you see that there? Look at that vigorous splashing. I wouldn't be surprised to find a fearsome Pokemon as the one causing it all. So, Brave Trial Gore, I would like to ask you to investigate that splashing there and find out what exactly is causing it. I want to ask you to swim out there, of course. I have a lovely gift for you instead. So with that, guys, we registered Lapras to our ride pager. And great, we're going to be able to ride around on Lapras. Let's use the Lapras paddle then. And this is so cool. Who hasn't wanted to ride around on Lapras like this before? Whenever I saw Ash doing it, I knew someday I would get to a ride on Lapras. And here we are. So let's go ahead and see what is causing such a commotion what Pokemon is it? Oh my goodness. It's a wishy-washy that's been causing all of this ruckus around here. So let's go ahead and send out Green Arrow. Green Arrow should be able to handle anyone that comes at us. So let me go ahead and go for the tackle. Ooh, I am really digging this quick claw on Green Arrow. I feel like it's come in clutch so many times. We can hold out to this little Pokemon. I think we're going to be okay. And you know what? One of the tips that you guys have been giving me is to add this wishy-washy to our team i know a lot of you guys want to see this pokemon and i definitely want to catch more and more of these new pokemon because i want to try them out it's my first time going through the alola region and it's gonna be a great time getting new teammates to swap in and building all these different combinations so let me go ahead and throw my one ultra ball at this wishy-washy and let's hope that this will be the pokeball that catches it come on oh there we go, guys. Okay, so great. Gotcha. Wishy washy was caught, and I am very happy about that. So good job, GA. That's what I like to see. Our boy GA is coming in clutch. Everybody's going to gain a bunch of levels. And if you guys know, I am a big fan of the Legend of Zelda series. I have played that series since I was young. It's always going to have a special place in my heart. I feel like it just always did because it was the first game that was so adventurous and you could just go out there and explore and see this beautiful open world so it holds a really really special place in my heart i'm gonna go ahead and call this wishy-washy after one of the bosses in the legend of zelda so we're gonna go ahead and call our wishy-washy i bet a couple of you guys get this one we're gonna call him georg after one of the bosses in majora's mask so with that guys georg ooh, we can add him to our party Okay, let's go ahead and add this guy to our party then. I am going to go ahead and get rid of Ravio. I feel like we haven't been using Ravio that much, so it could definitely be good to swap him out. We're going to take that with Normalium Z. And with that, I would like you guys to welcome Georg to the team. With that, we now have a water type on our team, and I think that's definitely going to help us out a good bit. We are a little bit of a disadvantage against fire types when they come out, so I think this will be very helpful oh my so it was wishy-washy kicking up all that water even a little wishy-washy can make such big waves okay so the wishy-washy is the one causing all of this commotion i know that some of you guys are probably using wishy-washy on your teams as well 
so you probably know what to expect. I'm already going to go ahead and take a wild guess what the totem Pokemon is going to be. And I'm going to say that it's Wishy Washy. So we're going to see how that goes. Let's continue through here, though. And where is this? Ooh, I got to go ahead and get this Pokeball. I have to make sure we get this Pokeball. I also want to give you guys a big thank you because I did go back and pick up that little Zygarde core that was just chilling around in that previous route. It was very, very close to one of the Pokeballs. I completely overlooked it. Whenever I see a little shiny spot on the ground, who knows what it is? I definitely will be collecting all of them, so it's going to be a lot of fun to see if we can find them all. Look, there it is. Huh? I'm sorry, what was your name? Of course, Rodri. It is a lovely name, just lovely. Now look over there, do you see that? Whatever's kicking up such lovely splashes must be rather big. A strapping young swimmer, perhaps, or an amazing Pokemon specimen. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and take a look. Maybe it's a swimmer just chilling out there. Who knows what the swimmers are doing these days in Alola. This region has the most water. They're all islands, so there could be tons of swimmers around this place. Let's go ahead and take on whatever it is then and it's gonna be another wishy-washy okay well while we take out this wishy-washy i just want to tell you guys i hope you enjoyed the battle between myself and munching orange it's crazy that some of you guys didn't know that mo and i are really good friends we've known each other for about five years We've lived together on multiple occasions, and now we live in the same town. I actually lived with Mo and the guys at the house earlier before I moved to my own place with Rush. And now we still see each other a lot because I live like five minutes away. So he's a really good friend of mine. It's awesome to have another friend that is also playing Pokemon. And I'm just really happy that you guys enjoyed the battle. I'm definitely trying to do different sorts of videos. I want to go and just explore things all of this game so i'm excited to be checking it out and trying every single feature it looks like there might be something else going on here with lana though so we should definitely go investigate and we will be doing that i am excited to investigate this so let's go ahead and see what else we can find around here we were talking about rivals as well and i gotta tell you guys my favorite rival if you really come down to it is silver so every time I play through those games and we go up against Silver, there's something about that rival to me. Whether it was the fact that Gold came out and Silver came out and Crystal came out and then it just pretty much blew my mind that there was a whole nother region of Pokemon out there. So then seeing this rival who was using them as well, maybe that's what really impacted me. And I just thought it was really, really cool. I love that story and it's just an amazing tale. And I love when you get to learn more about characters when there's little secrets hidden to them and you have to kind of dig in there and find them as you go. With that though, I hope you guys are ready. That's right, didn't you notice you passed through the captain's gate by my side, which means that you start the trial. To clear my trial was to defeat the great totem Pokemon known as the Lord of the Ocean. So I hope you guys are ready to take on the Lord of the Ocean. And it's going to be a couple wishy-washies hanging out over here. So let's go ahead and defeat this Pokemon so we can complete our trial. I am excited to take on this Pokemon. So let's go ahead and ride over there. I feel like we do have a good team. Solid enough to take on this totem Pokemon. Thunder Crash. Lapras is trembling. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, man. Okay, guys, so here we go. Let's go ahead and take on Wishy Washy. This is going to be the totem Pokemon from this trial. I'm excited to take him on. I feel like this is going to be a really, really good challenge. We do have GA up in front, so let's go ahead and send out Green Arrow. Green Arrow is ready for this battle. Green Arrow is going to come in clutch, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. I'm going to go and drop this Razor Leaf on this guy. Do a lot of damage to this Wishy Washy, please. We are going to be able to take this guy down quite easily. I feel good having GA. We also have the Flash, who comes in clutch when it is most needed. And who is his ally going to be? A Lomomola. Okay, that is great. Good thing we can still hit the Razor Leaf and hit both of these Pokemon. I know I also asked you guys about the rarest Pokemon you guys have found. It was awesome getting to hear from you guys that a lot of you guys have found Shinies. A lot of you guys have found some really cool Pokemon. I gotta tell you, throughout my time playing Pokemon, I've maybe bumped into four Shinies in that whole time. And it's never been a really 
crazy out there shiny i bumped into a zigzagoon once and he was shiny that was one of my first shinies i ever bumped into so i've never found anything that crazy out there and i know that in these days i've actually had a lot of people tweet me that they're finding shinies in alola which is really really cool i hope that i'll be able to find some if i could get lucky enough to find a shiny that would be awesome if you guys also have some spare shinies you want to send me shoot me a tweet with your friend code i'll go ahead and add you guys if you want to do a little bit of trading i'm all up for getting a shiny if you guys have an extra one you want to give me if you guys hand me the shiny i'll go ahead and make sure we play through it too because i feel like it definitely deserves a spot so with that guys we took down a Lomomola. canary grew to level 19 adonis is growing as well we're back on that one-on-one -on -one with totem wishy-washy i'm hoping that we will be able to take him down Okay, let's see what his ally Pokemon is going to be this time. Another Wishy-Washy. He must be running out of options here. He's just calling the Wishy-Washies all this time. I do have Hidden Power. So let's go ahead and go for the Hidden Power. This should do a bunch of damage to this Pokemon. That's the cool thing, that our Green Arrow has Electric Hidden Power. So that's going to help a lot. As we do get more and more TMs, I am going to switch up our Pokemon moves. So I want to build really good movesets that are going to help. I think having this Hidden Power Electric is fantastic. As you guys will be able to see here, especially if we go up against any other flying types, we can just throw out GA, hit that Electric, and we're good to go. It's just such a great idea. I am also digging that the game is giving us all these bonuses at the beginning, giving us hidden powers, whatever, running boots, everything you need from the start. The HMs, it's just really cool that they're making it so easy to be able to explore this region. I feel like that's really how it should have been, and they've done a fantastic job with it. I am really happy with how this game is going and with the way it has been built that i can't wait to see how it's all gonna add up later on once we get to wi-fi battles and all that sort of stuff i'm really excited for that i used to do wi-fi battling back in the day i recently started doing it more and more because i want to bring it to my channel so i will definitely be doing more wi-fi battles i do play pokemon showdown here and there my account on there is purple rod so if you guys ever see me messing around on there sometimes i play good sometimes i like to goof around right now they actually have the new beta for all of these new pokemon so i've been messing around a little bit on there i am just mostly excited to get to the actual wi-fi battles in the game so it's pretty much just practicing on there learning a little bit about it because all these new pokemon that have been added are gonna switch things up that's the great thing about every time when new pokemon get added the battles change so much and i just really love that i think it's a it's a great thing to have i remember pokemon battling when i was young to the point where i would go over to my friend's house and it'd be like big rivalry and we would always be like oh yeah you know this time my charizard's gonna whoop you and it was just so much fun and now it's come to the point where it's so much easier to battle you don't need these link cables you can just take on anyone across the world and it is so amazing we are really really lucky to live in this time it's almost like we really are in the pokemon world these days all the wishy-washy that i so diligently trained up were defeated and that's very frustrating but of course i can let you completion of my trial go and celebrate rodri truly impressive please take this with that guys it looks like we have gone ahead and obtained another z crystal that is what i'm talking about there we go trial complete You do know what this is, don't you? Watch, this is how you use Waterium Z. So we just obtained Waterium Z, and it looks like a little dance. I actually like that. Here, this is one original, one of my own handmade fishing rods. And there we go. I was just telling you guys that they're giving us so much to go out there and explore, and they just gave us the fishing rod. So now we can go out there and find even more Pokemon hiding in the water. That is so cool. I am so happy right now with all these different items they're giving us. I can't wait to try them out. Is she giving... Oh, dive balls? So they're just gonna go ahead and give us dive balls too? By the way, did you know I once reeled in a red Gyarados? Is she messing with us? Did she really... Well, what do you think? You did a fine job today. Shall I see you back at the Pokemon Center on Route 5? 
yeah, let's go ahead and make our way back to the Pokemon Center then. I'm sure we'll be able to find something else to do around there. Good, let's be going then. And you can always do a spot of fishing later. We'll definitely check out the fishing spot later. I'm not even sure what kind of Pokemon we can find there in the fishing spot. So that'll definitely be worth a look. I feel like having Georg on our team is going to be a big bonus. I'm going to train Georg to level 20. It's at level 20 that the ability kicks in. And they're able to bring together all the school of fish and turn into that huge Pokemon. So that's what I am super excited for. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon on. They've been having a long day. Talk about long days, Nurse Joy. I bet you've been having one. I bet a ton of trainers have been coming through here, huh? Bunch of Pokemon needing their Pokemon trainers fed it in you know get them a little bed to sleep in i'm sure you know all these pokemon need to bring their pokemon trainers in here Ooh, it must be a long journey for them having to go out there and guide their pokemon trainers in the right direction okay we're gonna go ahead and use our stoutland and let's see where this is gonna take us i've had a blast riding these pokemon too if i told myself as a kid someday we'd have a 3d pokemon game where i actually get to ride around on pokemon i don't know if i would have believed it i would have been like there's no way there's no way i was like what how would that happen now one of my dreams which i hope will still happen someday is to go for a ride on lugia i hope that someday we'll be able to fly on top of lugia in a game it just feels like it would be really amazing to see to see that beautiful pokemon just flying around taking off i would just love that and the pseudo wudo have also moved now that we do have our watarium z so let's go ahead and continue down this road thanks for the mystic water little guy that is definitely much appreciated and they have ran to the Battle Royal Dome. Ooh, the Battle Royal Dome. That sounds pretty cool. Sounds like a place where we can go and get a little battling action. So we're here in Route 6. Okay, what are we going to be able to do in Route 6 around here? I'm going to go ahead and get this Super Potion. And then it also looks like we're going to have a battle. There we go, guys. That was a pretty good battle. Let's keep searching around here with our Stoutland. There definitely are... Ooh, who is this? You there, trainer. Can you come to my aid? Over here. Yo, yo, yo. Don't go and turn your backside on us. And you, you're that numbskull trainer from Melee Melee. These scoundrels are Pokemon thieves, and you're on familiar terms with them. Yeah, we know them, but we're not on familiar terms. Why are these grunts over here? I am Hapu. Life in the big city sure is something else. Pokemon thieves roam about brazenly. Hmm, I'll leave that one to you. Okay, I am definitely ready to kick some Team Skull butt here. So let's go ahead and get ready to take on these Pokemon. And here we go, guys. I hope you're ready for another battle against Team Skull. I really feel bad for these guys because we whoop them every single time. They don't even stand a chance. A majority of the time, we just one-shot their Pokemon. And let's go ahead and take on this Team Skull Grunt. He's going to go ahead and send out a Drowsy. Okay, Team Skull. I see you mixing it up just a little bit. It's a little strange to see them using these types of Pokemon. Why are they out here? I, you'd think they'd be using some Pokemon with skulls. If I saw, like, a coughing or a wheezing, that would make a lot of sense. So why are they trying to use these different psychic types with that we defeated team skull and that should be it right all these losses we're gonna anger them. these tears taste like salt yo my shall we stomp these it'll be a mess to clean up afterward i'm willing if you are i really like this huge horse pokemon it is amazing who would want to mess with that if you guys have ever seen someone get kicked by a horse or even come close to it, you know how much that would hurt. I would not come close to messing with a Pokemon that looked like this. Glad to see that one will get home on her own. I gotta thank you for that. Give me your name, trainer. 
Roger, eh? That's a fine name. I like the way you handle yourself in battle. My dad and I are always wondering all about a little attraction to our goals, so perhaps we'll meet again someday. Perhaps we will, Hapu. I'm indebted to you for your aid, after all. No problem, just happy to do the right thing, happy to see those grunts run off again. Oh yes, you might want to try your hand at a battle royale or two, Rodri. So the battle royale, what is this everybody is talking about? I love battling. What is the battle royale? We're definitely going to have to check that place out. It looks like we just met someone important. Man, she went ahead and left us. Let's see what else we can find. That was some pretty good XP. Definitely good to battle all these trainers. Because you never know what you can find. Ooh, I do see a place where we can smash some rocks. So let's go ahead and get our Taurus out here. Come on, give us something good here. If you can give me a super strong TM, just give me an earthquake. Just give me just one of them super moves. We found a rare candy. Alright, well that's great. At least we could use that rare candy if we really wanted to. And we found ourselves a Stardust. Okay, that's pretty neat. Let's see what else is hiding behind these rocks. If there's some legendary Pokemon here... Nah, there's probably, there's probably not much in this patch of grass. Let's go ahead and see what it is. A Rattata. Okay, these Alolan Rattatas are all over the place. I thought they would stay over on Melee Melee, but I guess they've really spread all over this island. They're all over the place these days. I don't know what exactly... There was to do back here. There's just a couple rare candies. That's it. Okay. Well, now that we're done with that, we're going to be able to explore a little bit more around. So let me use this repel. Let me see if we can find something else around here before we do make our way to the battle royale. We could, bat we could battle her if we wanted to, but I'm not sure where that route is going to go. So let's go ahead and make our way inside of here. The Battle Royale. Looks like a very nice place. They also have a Pokemon Center here, which is fantastic. I am all about these Pokemon Centers. If we can get our Pokemon healed for free, who wouldn't do that? Let's go ahead and make our way back out of here, though. I'm going to see if we can battle that last trainer, which I believe was on this route. Because I don't think there is much left for us to do here in the Battle Royale. We'll definitely have to see. So let's go ahead and battle her. Great, with that, I think we're just about done with the trainers on this route. This leads us to... Heia Heia City. Okay, cool. Heia Heia City. And it doesn't look like we're able to proceed down that way anyways. This guy with the Stoutland is always blocking off the road. So let's just go ahead and make our way back to the Battle Royale then. That is surely where we're supposed to be. It's always good to look around though. You never know what we could find. You never know what could have happened there. We could have ended up bumping into a really, really good item. Let's go ahead and check out the Battle Royale though. There is the little red flag pointing us in that direction. So there's got to be something going on here. Why do I do this? Every time something brings me down, I end up coming right back here again. Come on, Noel. Let's go bury our sorrow in the crowd. So with that, it looks like Gladion is here. If Gladion is here, there's surely bound to be a lot happening. So next time, we're going to continue from here, guys. Make sure you leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Alola!